Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hao and today I thought I'd do a fun little LA apartment living room tour for y'all. I am only going to be showing you my living room because I have not gotten all of the other rooms to my liking yet and adulting has been very hard this year, but hopefully I will get those done soon so I can show you the rest of my apartment. And I also wanted to do the living room tour because my last piece of my living room, which is this massage chair right here, just came in and I wanted to show you how it looked in my space. I think this is going to be my filming area from now on, so I'm super excited to have this piece. So thank you Newhouse for sending this over to me, but a little bit more on that later. I will include timestamps down below if you want to hop around the video, and I'll try my best to link everything that I mention in the description box so you can shop my stuff if you're interested. I personally love watching interior decorating videos, so I'm super excited to show you around my living room. I think that I finally have it to a place where I am feeling very at home and it's cozy. There are a couple more things I want to do to it, like adding art to the walls, but for now I think that it's in a good place. So I hope you find this video to be a little inspirational and interesting. Okay, I'll go ahead and jump right into the video and show you around. Here's what my living room looks like when you enter it. I do apologize for for the stabilization, my hands are a bit shaky. I live in a two bedroom, one bathroom apartment and my living room area is about 250 square feet. It's 13 by 19. I'm gonna start in this corner over here where my cat's feeding station is. This is this little house slash feeding station. I have his automatic feeder and I have his greenies next to them. Then I have his water bowl and he used to sleep in here but Barry, my dog, keeps bothering him so he doesn't do that anymore but it's there if he needs it. Next to it I have my snake plant. It's not doing too well. I also have my TV stand. I love it so much. I took it with me from the old house. I just really like the dark teal color. In the left cabinet I have some workout gear. Most of it is from Bala. And in the center we have my switch and below that is Mason's PS4. Underneath I have some knickknacks. I have a bowl full of rocks and things that I've collected over the years from strolls on the beach. This little crochet frog from the farmer's market and I have this handmade bowl that my boss's daughter made. In the bottom drawer I have more gaming stuff like controllers and miscellaneous items, batteries, all that good stuff. And then in the right cabinet I have some games on top, love code names. I keep Duke's catnip in here so he can't easily find it and then below that I have my slime collection from my amazing friend Audrey. She makes the best slime, I'll leave her link if you want to check it out. And then below that, I have all of Duke and Barry's stuff. It's pretty unorganized right now, but Duke gets one side, Barry gets another side, and then I have their to-go bag, which is from Bagu. And on top, I have my frog collection displayed. These are little frogs that I collect when I'm traveling, so those are the souvenirs that I decide to bring home. I also have this little bean dish that I made from an event called Clay Bodies in LA. It's super fun if you are in the area. I'm thinking of putting guitar picks in it maybe and then to the right of the TV stand I have my music station. This is probably my favorite area of my apartment in general. I have my iPad mini where I look up tabs and chords to play music on. It sits on my Roland piano set that I got from Costco. It came with a bench where I keep some extra sheet music and it also comes with a little foot pedal. I think it's a great deal. I love the semi-weighted keys. I also have my capo next to it. The set also comes with a pair of headphones that's great for practicing at night or if you don't want to disturb your neighbors. And on top I have the Micro Mustang amplifier. It's an amazing little practice amp and it fits snugly right behind my headphones which is super nice. And then I have my guitars. I have my little Lava U ukulele with a built-in amplifier. This thing is so cool. And I own three guitars right now. I have my little mini Strat. It's a Squire. It's in this color surf green which is is amazing. Unfortunately, I dropped it on the concrete floor and it cracked, so might replace that soon. Then I have my Taylor GS Mini E. This one is the 
carbon burst color. It plays so beautifully. I just upgraded to this one for my birthday this year. I have small hands, so I like smaller bodied guitars. And lastly, I have my favorite guitar to play, which is my bass guitar. This is a Squire Jaguar bass. It is the perfect length for me. It is a medium scale bass guitar, and I just really like the details. It's super fun and comfortable to play, and I like the little pearloid frets on it. This has been my favorite instrument to pick up and just play around with. I keep all of the guitars on the outside so they're easy to access because the piano does kind of get in the way, so that's why my ukulele is tucked inside. Then to the right of that, I have what I call my little office or my nook, and this is where I do most of my work since I do work from home. I have some plants hanging up. My air plant that I got for Christmas a couple years ago is still going strong and I have another hanging pothos on the other side. Then I have a little pegboard that I got from Ikea which I hold my headphones, scissors, tripod, I put this little cowboy hat on the tripod that I got from a party, and just some other productivity devices as well as all of my cameras. On my desk I have some flowers that I change out weekly, a candle from Trader Joe's, a little pumpkin because it's fall time. I will do a more in-depth office tour later. Basically I have some drawers that I got from Ikea as well. Right now I'm using this typewriter style mechanical keyboard which is really fun. I have a little cat piggy bank and my Kindle, some pens, a lot of random office supplies. Like I said, I won't go into too much detail right now, but I have this skinny lamp that I got from Amazon, which I really like, and this is the view from my office space. My new house chair is also still going strong. The seat did warp a little bit, and I do not know who did this, but I'm pretty sure that it was him. But other than that, it looks great. Beneath my desk, I have a Orange Crush 25 amp and a trash can. I have my printer and a little cabinet underneath that I keep extra files, a duster, and just random office stuff that didn't really have a place. I do have a sit-stand desk, which is really convenient for those long days that I really need it. Moving into the living room center, I have my acrylic table and a tray that I got from Amazon. On the tray, I have a candle. I am a Virgo, so yay, shout out to all my Virgos. Then I have this little framed picture of my cat Duke. It's so pretty. I like to shake it sometimes. I have this little dish that I got from a bookstore in Pasadena, a candle wick snipper cutter thing and then this really cool electric candle lighter so it's been super convenient and it's rechargeable definitely one of my favorite purchases then i just have my tv remote and i like to flip it over because aesthetics underneath that i have this ottoman that i picked up from tj maxx i think and i keep a little book that i sketch in on it and i just push it back underneath when i'm not using it and the rug that that sits on is from target and in this corner I have my brand new massage chair from Newhouse. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to assemble. Thank you Newhouse for sending this over. I was able to assemble it by myself and it came with all of the tools that I needed. It came with a cable, the remote control, the manual which is super easy to read, and this wrench that I didn't even need. I started by unboxing all of the tools and materials that I needed. I think I got lucky by opening the box in the exact direction to make it easy to take everything out, but if you're wondering I opened it from the very top of the box. It looks really simple according to the instructions, so not too worried about it. And I was right, it was really easy to put together. There weren't that many steps. The canvas material on the back does pick up some hair. The headrest is really cool because you can detach it or you can throw it over the back if you don't wanna use it. It also comes with a matching ottoman, which took like a couple minutes to put together, super easy. It's so cute and stylish. I chose the elder white color, but it comes in six different colors and comes with a ton of features. It definitely doesn't look like a traditional massage chair. This was honestly the perfect addition to my living room. I think the hardest part was staging it because it is 72 pounds and I'm a weak person, but I got it to work and I put my fiddle leaf fig next to it and it just looks gorgeous in the space. Setting up the power supply was super easy. It comes with a remote control and a little pocket so you can stash the remote. It also comes with an on and off switch for when you're not using it and a USB-A port to charge your devices, which is really nice. The chair can hold up to 250 pounds. It's made of a genuine cowhide leather 
and includes a little soft throw pillow. The chair does swivel 90 degrees, so if you want to either face the TV or face the corner and do some work, you can just move your body and the chair will move with it. And it also does recline 15 degrees. At first I thought it was going to fall back, but it's actually really secure and it's nice for laying down if you want to be in that position. This has been my new favorite place in the apartment to just relax and do work. I love just sitting back reading or working on my YouTube videos and when I'm ready for a massage I'll just take the headrest and I will throw it back over then I'll take the little throw pillow that it comes with and either throw it off to the side or I'll keep it on my lap for extra comfort it's nice that the remote is tucked away on the side I'll just pick it up and choose which features I want the really cool thing about this massage chair is that it comes with a Bluetooth speaker and all of the functions like play pause skip and volume are included so I like to listen to my daily meditations and if I'm not sure what I want to choose as far as massages go, there are six automatic modes that you can choose from. The chair has track rollers that go from your shoulders all the way to your butt. You can use it on the automatic modes or you can manually choose each feature that you want set. There's a three-step thermo massage mode as well, so you can change the temperature if you want it to be warmed up, which I think is really cool and nice for relaxing your muscles. Sometimes when I'm getting a massage, Barry likes to hop on because he likes the vibrations. It's so cute. He's my little massage cuddle buddy. And at the end of the day, I just throw the ottoman onto the chair and cover it up to prevent any scratches from happening and dirt from getting on it. Definitely an investment piece worth looking into. Now I'm going to move on to the rest of my living room, starting with this couch from Amazon. And I got it because of the material and because it pulls out into a full-size mattress. I love having guests over, so this is where they typically sleep. It does great for that, but when I tell you this couch is just so crap, like the wood is breaking, the pillows are not high enough, so you're always hitting that backboard with your back. I definitely don't recommend it, I am going to try to replace it soon, but behind the couch is one of my favorite pieces. It's this mirror from Urban Outfitters that I got, it's huge absolutely huge and it's beautiful it fits perfectly into this little wall space and it might look a little big but it does work quality is top notch i love taking my outfit pictures in front of it it has a gold trim and i think it fits my space really nicely next to that i have my bathroom door and then i have this little bookshelf where i keep all of the legos that i've collected over the years i have my flower bouquet and some legos that were gifts from my boyfriend's mom and this is a new piece that she gifted us which is for halloween aren't they just adorable underneath we have the bookshelf so on the left side are my books they're all art design fun books and then to the right we have Mason's books which are more traditional novels to read from. Those are there for guests if they want to just pick one up. And underneath I have a sewing kit and just some cables that I've been collecting throughout the years. I really need to clean that out. I have my toolkit and behind my toolkit I have my sewing machine. Fun fact, I did go to college for design so that's why I have all of this crafty stuff in my home. Then to the right of the shelf I have Barry's cage. This is where his bed is and his little stuffed animals that he plays with. He gets bored really easily, so this is not even half of his toys. Then I have his feeding station. He takes a probiotic every day. And then we're going to move into the back side of my nook. There is a little patio back there, but this is a vintage mirror that I thrifted when I lived out in the country. It's so beautiful and very old as well. This is one of my favorite pieces that I've thrifted for sure. I love the detailing on it. It's just incredible to me. Underneath it, I have some plants that I'm propagating, the watering can, a mister. I also have these little clippers from Ikea. A lot of this stuff is from Ikea because I needed to furnish my house really quickly. Otherwise, I would have thrifted more pieces. I also have a little bottle of fertilizer and my Buddha statue because I am Buddhist. My philodendron is doing really well in this corner. I might have to repot her soon because I want her to grow much larger than she is right now. Underneath that, I have my art cabinet. Again, kind of an artsy person. So on top, I have tape, paints, a little bucket and this also needs a lot of reorganizing. On the bottom I keep some paint brushes, my nail kit, and some journals. Again, I'll go into more depth when I do an office tour, but I do have a little patio. There's not too much going on out there. I just have a little table set and some extra pots. I have this window cat bed that Duke loves to sleep on. It's so sturdy and holds up really well. I definitely recommend it. I thought it would have fallen by now, but it hasn't. And that's pretty much all of my living room. 
All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching till the end if you did. Thank you again to New House for sending over this amazing chair. I love it so much. If you're interested in picking one up or checking out any of their other products, I do have a discount code right here. I'll also leave that code and a link in the description box below. I love working with them so much. Honestly, I might pick up one of their couches to replace this terrible couch that I got from Amazon. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up because that really helps my small channel out. And if you're interested, in seeing more of the content I'll be pushing out, please consider subscribing to my channel as well. Your support means the world to me. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. I try my best to answer all of your questions. With that said, I hope you have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!